Hello guys and welcome to another video. So this time I ported something that's quite interesting and it's actually um, a Llama port. So Llama 2 more specifically, Llama2.c, which is basically like a stripped down um, LLM uh, inference uh, program. So that's what I put it to the Dreamcast. It runs entirely on the CPU. Right now, it's not really making use of like the uh, math extensions that may should happen. But in any case, I can type uh, the beginning of a sentence and then it will continue generating uh, the story afterwards. The LM model that it's using right now is called Tiny Stories. And right now it's using like the smallest size, which is just a little over a 200 K. So, you know, 200 uh, thousands uh, parameters. And, uh, so for example, I can say like once upon a time, which is what I'm going to type once. I don't have a Dreamcast keyboard. And in fact, I did not even check if it works, although I tested briefly on an emulator and it did work. All right, now I'm using my controller on my real console. This is recorded off of real hardware this time. So once upon the time, and then I press enter, or I can, or I can press start also. We'll say now loading. Uh, it's not showing like the inference in real time right now. Uh, could be done in the future, of course. But as you can see, it's pretty fast. It goes somewhere around 30 tokens up to 50 tokens per second. And as you can see, once upon a time, and then Carl wanted to drink a mess. He went outside to get on his face, but while he was sleeping, he saw a tiny bird outside to scream. He got the bird and asked for help. What is wrong? Max replied, that is so big that I didn't stop me too <laughs> well it kind of makes sense but not really like <laughs> this is gibberish now if i were to use like a larger uh model size so still stop tiny stories for instance but at like 15 uh mega well 15 m well 15 million actually uh it the sent the sentences they would make much more sense and I think the vocabulary is like increased from the uh, smallest size too. But yeah, and I can also decide to randomly generate uh, a story without anything. And it will just do just that. Now, of course, the seed that it uses for this port, it's actually like the RTC chip. So if you don't set like the time of your Dreamcast and then you do it like per frame, it could be somewhat deterministic, meaning that it, it could in theory generate the same sentence at the exact same frame, as long as say the date is set at a certain time. But that's besides the point. So yeah, a real LLM working on the Dreamcast. This was, I got the ID from the Llama 98 port. I didn't do it at the time because you know, I wasn't sure that it would fit on the Dreamcast RAM, but in fact, it consumes around three megabytes on the smallest size. Uh, of course, it would consume five megabytes for like the 15 million parameters. And it will also stream from the disk. In this case, it streams from the CD. Uh, now, granted, it is so small that it could fit into RAM, but if I were to upgrade this to 50 millions, then yes, I would have to swap from CD, which is of course slower. I did not demonstrate this with uh, like the 15 million parameters because I knew it was going to be too slow and I did not add like real time inference. So that's partly why I did not do so, but that is a possibility as well. Uh, my next plan is to hopefully get something like Tiny Chat working on this. Tiny Chat is a little bit more advanced, but it's still not. It it's like talking to a five year old basically. 
So anyway, guys, I invite you to give it a try. Probably not. You should probably not burn this on the CD because it's going to swap really hard on the CD. So probably just run this on like the SD card adapter or like the, the GDMU. And yeah, that was pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching and bye.